Hello, it's uh, me Nick again uh, with a Pokemon related video. Right now in Heart Gold I'm going to battle the Kimono Girls. And here is Silver which, who is going to hold me up for a second. And I uh, asked on Reddit in uh, a post uh, what Pokemon I should use because I had like 30, uh, a bit less than 30 Pokemon. I'm maybe 20 or something Pokemon. And uh, I wanted to uh, ask them uh, uh, what kind, what Pokemon of these I would use to beat the Kimono Girls. They were all highly underleveled, except of Machamp. Machamp is, uh, is kind of strong uh, in, in comparison to the others because it is traded with one of my other games, uh, which I hadn't uh, completed yet, which was Platinum. Uh, I'm now going to battle him, and uh, so I asked in the post what Pokemon to use. I got a lot of move set suggestions, a lot of move suggestions, bite and shadow ball, and uh, the most useful stuff that were. Uh, uh, at the end, I came to the conclusion I would uh, use my chum for the most because it's over leveled, and I would use. Um, um, a combination of a ghost and a dark type to constantly switch on Espion's attacks so I would able, be able to stall out one of its moves and then beat it so, uh, dirt on the screen so uh, now I'm going to use uh, well first I'll show the moveset of my champ cross chop, fire blast, revenge and seismic toss so I'm going to use cross chop because I think I'm faster I'm not sure though and I'm not faster, the Umbrian is faster, but I think that it didn't matter because uh, um, Revenge wouldn't have been boosted anyway. Uh, and now that I know the Umbrian is faster and might attack, I am going to use Revenge. I do have Shell Bell on my champ, so I can get a lot of my HP back and it attacks. So if I don't flinch and I don't hit myself with confusion, and I'm going good. Yes, yeah, so now I can use revenge at full power. And I think that will be uh, more than enough to faint the Umbrian. And it is. And now I'll get HP back due to the shell. The shell bell it was. Yes, shell bell. Here it is. Uh, and he gets a uh, lot of uh, X points. Um, so I use my champ to faint the Umbreon. My champ is still the first one in my party. I can't uh, decide what Pokemon is first up in my party. I might have, get, I might get a little problem because I didn't look really good at the, uh, you know, the order my party is placing. Ah, for some reason my camera doesn't line up well. Despite its shoots, uh, this is better. Um, so now I'm going to switch to Umbreon because the SPN is most likely going to use Psychic against Marty. Maybe Psych up. That wouldn't really matter that much. So now I'm going to use Adwall. My champ is Marty. Here's Adwall the Umbreon. Here is Magnemus Drevas. Here is uh, Wilbert the. Quagsire, here is elect uh, Ronda the Electrode and Cedric the Sensorist. They are all male except for Ronda, which is genderless. So, that is just coincidence. Now I'm going to switch to Edwall and I hope I'll get one uh, PP away from the. Yep, Psychic is one uh, PP down. Uh, I hope they didn't use uh, PP ups or PP maxes. I think they didn't, so in. In that case I need to get um, uh, 10 PP from the Psychic down. So now I'm going to switch to Mac because it only has normal and Psychic moves. Which means it will attack with a normal attack on my Umbreon because Psychic won't work. So I'm going to switch to Ghost type which are immune to normal type moves. So 
The NPCs aren't really that smart. Yes, now I'm one PP down from Swift. And I'm going to try this again. I don't know how good the AE is. I think this might work. In a uh, battle against a normal person, this will absolutely not work. Because they will at some moment try to expect what you're doing or just go random. Uh, I'm 2 PP down from Psychic. I won't talk too much so I can get this going a little bit faster. Now I'm going to Mac. I just need to remember 2 PP down from Psychic. Uh, I'm Ren. And so let's see how the AE works. Uh, Psychic 3 PP down. Now I'm going to back to Mac. And that will be a new PP down from uh, Swift. Now I'm going to Umbreon. And this will be the fourth PP from Psychic. Now I'm going to Mac. My camera stops uh, filming at 10 minutes, so I have to restart the camera after that. Here is Atul again. And this will be the 4th PP of Psychic, I guess. Psychic. Uh, I lost count, so I, maybe I need... I can use the reboot as a way to count by rewatching my own video. Uh, I think this will be the 5th. I can't use a Sableye or a Spiriton because I'm only using Pokemon obtainable in the game itself. Um, this will be 5 uh, PP down from Psychic. So this is quite working. Maybe there will be a little random factor in the program that makes them use useless moves at some point. If this is 6 from Psychic. After that, my Umbria and my Mac would be completely immune to everything the Sylphian, you know, the Espion could do. So here we go. But if I don't do it right, I might get. Uh, okay, this is I think the seventh. <laughs> I, I really lost the count. Uh, so I'm almost at ten minutes. Uh. Here is Mac again. I think this was eight. Uh, now will be nine, I think. Nine. And this will be ten, right? Uh, after I switch back to Umbrian. Yeah, so I think it right now run out of psychic moves and I really think <laughs> I have the urge to think it has still one left but I'm going to switch to Mac and I'll see for myself otherwise it was a waste of time and I'll just skip to the point where I am now made. well I think I'm good to go I'm going to use Confuse Ray. Yeah, it ran out of Psychic, so I did it correctly. I'm going to use this move now. And I hope it's Synchronize doesn't rebound this, and it doesn't. So after this, I can use Astonish. It isn't really powerful, so it isn't... I think it might not even faint it, but the Confusion damage might do... And otherwise it could spite until it struggles and it kills itself. It uses Swift and now I'm going to use Stonish. I think I might even still need a bit of luck to win. But I'll make it if it just keeps hurting itself. Ah, it's already half and I'm blowing that run out of PP. So this was the Umbrian and the Espion. And the camera will almost reboot. Will, will completely uh, line up and after this you'll see uh, the rest of the battles 
against the other free Pokemon. So, here we go. Alright, so I rebooted the camera and Espion uh, snapped out of the confusion. So now I'm going to use Confuse Ray again. And I actually beat two of the Pokemon, the opposing Pokemon right now. I beat uh, two of the evolutions you have to face from the Kimono Girls. <laughs> and I did it with a level 64 Pokemon for the first one, but a level 30, no, no, 29 I think, and 20 Pokemon against a level 38 Pokemon in the second battle. And this is really the way I'm winning the whole game, you know. All my Pokemon on the levels, except my champ, which is just a recent addition. And now they are going to get quite a few HP, I think. Uh, not enough to level up. But, oh, you truly, you are truly strong. Thank you. Now I'm also going to read what they are saying. Might be important for the storyline, and I didn't get this far yet. Alright, she's going to... You are quite the trainer, I remember you tracing off that Team Rocket Grunt for right here. I must thank you for that. Although I am actually a trainer myself, she who knows the most speaks the least. I am Miki, the Kimono Girl. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. And I don't know why I'm not using sound, but here is sound. Alright, so uh, Machamp still has its same moveset, here it is, and I'm going to use Revenge, I think the Clarion will be faster, so here we go. I... <laughs> Machamp just turned worthless because of the burn, I really like its levels lower now, this is really bad news for Machamp, but it's... It's a critical hit! Ah, lol. And it gets a lot of HP back. So, this is yet again a win against the Kimono Girl. And now. Oh, you're good at Pokemon too. Uh, I'm not doubling the money because I'm not using a amulet coin. I really wanted to have the optimal chance of winning. Excellent fighting spirit. You got me off the ice by pushing me from the back. I am the one who skates in sandals. I am Sayo, the kimono girl. I was listening in the dragon dance when you passed the test of the other. Now I want her to use Glacian because she skates on ice in sandals. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. What Pokemon does she? I think Vaporeon because of the ice skating. It's the closest related. Jolteon! What does that have to do with ice skating? Really? Alright, I'm burned, but I'm still going for revenge. At least I can't get uh, paralyzed too now. So I think I'm just going to win this. The most important enemy was uh, Aspion, and I got through that one pretty easily now. So I need to thank the people for Reddit for helping me make this. And I'm getting some HP back. And this really worked out. I, I had a whole team uh, on me. I also had uh, a Sand Slash. And oh, so close. I almost had you. And, and, and uh, Quicksire, like I showed you guys. This is the last one. I am the last one. You were so dependable at the Golden Rift Tunnel. I'm the one who trills even underground. I'm Kuni of Kimono Girl. I looked at you and wonder when you started Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. You must show your strength to me now. I long to challenge you and your Pokemon. And here is Kimono Girl Kuni, Kuni, and Vaporeon. I still have the same moveset, but Vaporeon is strong, and I am burnt. Maybe it beats me. It has high HP, 
And even if it does, I can just switch to another Pokemon. Okay, it's used, it's Sir. I'm burned, so I'm going to lose some HP to burn if it, if it revi survives this. Uh, I'm just going to die. <laughs> In one hit. Wow, this was easy. I, I really proud the whole team, but my champ is fainting everything. It's really over leveled. I'm a bit against using it, but I really want to get through these girls so I can catch Ho Ho. Oh, you are wonderful. Thank you. I love you. So now I got for Kuni and those were all the We were not wrong about you. You are indeed worthy of this. Please take it. Nick obtained for clear bell. Nick put for clear bell in the key items bucket. And I hear uh so it was just a door, but it was an earthquake. Big sisters! I just saw the big shadow of a Pokemon over the bell tower. It could be <gasps> Oh my god. Nick will be at the bell tower. See you there. And now I'm I'm not going to the bell tower. I'm going to let them wait for ages. Uh, until, oh, I get bell by, uh, called by Anthony. Sup? This is Anthony. How are you? Come on, let's battle right now. We're for uh, another battle, and I just got for five. So I'm just going to let them wait for ages because I need to prepare to catch. Oh, I want to catch a hound tower, uh, which is part dark type with flash fire, so it can't be hit by anything. Oh, has to offer, so I only have to weak it. If I could get one with uh, Super Fang that was really, really great, I wouldn't be able to be hit by anything. So that's the next uh, part of my quest. I need to get a Hound Hour with Super Fang. I can't get one until I catch Ho-Oh, so I need to trade one. Uh, I can easily get a Hound Hour with Fle Flash Fire, but getting one with Super Fang will be really hard. So that's my next thing in my quest. And I made it thanks to my two new additions which are um, the Edwool and Mac and thanks to my not so recent but still recent addition which is Marty so this was it for now uh, I really liked how it worked to have some inspiration by asking people on reddit so I uh, might do it more often if I really get to tough fights not every fight but this game really has a lot of Pokemon I might give you a quick view of the box now still got some time left on the camera I'm just going to uh, make it 20 minutes so here I'm going to move Pokemon and here you can see the box so I am using almost all of these competitively our book is questionable I recently added it but I mostly uh, only add Pokemon after I really had the need of to use them and as soon as I have used a Pokemon really to win a battle like this one like I used Umbreon and and Mistrevious uh, it is a, a permanent addition to my team I haven't used Arbok I just wanted it because it had uh, Intimidate and uh, Careful Nature to be a little wall and it had some poison moves and some strong moves so I, I wanted it to uh, add it to my team but it doesn't really fit with the cumulus of the others Psyduck and uh, Smurgle are uh, HM slaves and the rest is really useful oh and uh, Pamelo is actuated to catch Pokemon not really to battle but these are all uh, additions to my team uh, I'm really uh, I'm really bonded with this Pokemon if you might call it with games too. I really like them uh, They all have really tricky strategies and have helped me out in some way And uh, so it's not like they are just you just train one to be strong But I really train a whole lot So in all a different way so they can beat one partner and that's that is one of the things Pokemon is about so uh, I really enjoy this run of hard gold and you guys might try it too. Just be under level, not grind too much, but catch a lot of Pokemon and try to beat what's catching many Pokemon instead of grinding and that is really fun. Like catching Miltank to beat Morty, it has Scrappy and everything, it is immune to ghost moves and really it is great. So you guys can try this too, I'm now off to catching ho -Oh might show you that but i'm going to soft reset i think so i'll catch it multiple times which won't be that fun to watch so here is my box these are my pokemon i will thank all my pokemon and thank you for watching 
and bye see you sometime in the future bye